So the weather's getting chilly and it's that time again, dinner. It's always dinner. I've been cooking like one meal a day for the family and everyone pretty much waits for dinner. So today I'm going to make steak and biscuits. I'm just going to saute steak in a brown gravy, add white cheddar chive biscuits on top, bake it, and it's gonna be great. So for the steak and biscuits, I'm going to use thin cut ribeye steaks. And I trimmed some of the fat off of the steaks and I'm gonna render this before sauteing the onion. You could skip this part and just add oil to saute the onion or you could also saute some bacon. So here I'm adding half of a small yellow onion that I've diced and I'm going to saute until softened and translucent. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt to help sweat out the onions. Okay, so my onions are softened and sauteed. So I'm going to add my ribeye steak pieces. I cut around two pounds of ribeye steak into bite-sized pieces, and I'm just going to cook and saute this. I'm gonna add some salt, pepper, and just start to brown and cook this. You can season your steak how you like, but here I have a half teaspoon of dried rosemary, a half teaspoon of onion powder, half teaspoon of dried thyme. And I'm just going to continue cooking the steak pieces and combine everything together. Now that my steak is sauteed, I'm going to lower the heat and add one clove of minced garlic and saute for about a minute. And now I'm ready to start a roux. I'm going to add eight tablespoons of all-purpose flour and I'm just going to combine and coat all of my steak pieces and cook the flour until there is a crust formed at the bottom of the pan. It's gonna look like this. And this is a good indication to start adding your broth. Here I have four cups of beef broth that I'm going to add little by little until it has thickened into a gravy. Okay, so everything has combined well and thickened, so now I'm going to add around a cup and a half of frozen peas and carrots. You can exclude this if you don't want it. You could also add other ingredients like parboiled potatoes and cook that in the gravy. You could also add mushroom, onion, however you like, but this is what I'm working with today, and it's done. So on to the biscuits. Here I have two and a quarter cups of self-rising flour. I'm going to add around a quarter teaspoon of salt, give it a mix. Now I'm going to add six tablespoons of cold butter. And with my hands, I'm just going to combine it with the flour. You could also use a dough cutter. Once it's combined and my flour is sort of like crumbly sand, I'm going to add two to three ounces of shredded cheddar cheese. Two tablespoons of fresh chives, give it a mix. I'm going to add one cup of buttermilk. If you find that the dough is not wet enough because this will be a wet drop biscuit dough, then add a little more buttermilk until it comes together. So my biscuit dough is ready. So I'm just going to scoop with a large ice cream scooper drop biscuits on top of the steak and gravy. So I managed to get 10. So I'm going to bake this in a preheated oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 23 to 25 minutes or until the biscuits are done. And I actually added some butter and fresh herbs on top. And I'm just going to add the rest of my melted butter. I started with a tablespoon and a half, and now it's ready to serve. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.